Moon versus Romantic. Oh, wait, they don't have the races. Boom, bam, skadoosh, and here we go. So, um, human versus night elf, a matchup that certainly Moon is legendary for on maps like Twisted Meadows, mass expanding. And he has been known to be a very solid warden player, not one of the best, not Lol Lyad, not Foggy, but still pretty good. And Terranostan, I feel, is such a great warden map, but he is opting for the Demon Hunter. Forces are under attack. So he's play, playing it more standard, I suppose. Moon, a player who was also in the past known for Dark Ranger play. We don't see that at all anymore. Actually, TH played that a couple of days ago and was successful with it. But aside from Mr. Crea Creativity number one, nobody seems to like that anymore. So this was scouted. He knows about the Demon Hunter. This is already quite a big load of his mind because it's so much easier to deal with him. Especially as far as the first hero goes. Bit of a mistake here, getting the Water Elemental purged. That means he's gonna take more damage here, a little bit more. And it's gonna slow down the creeping slightly. Shouldn't be too much of a difference maker in the end, I suppose. Oh! That's a big deal though. He tried to do the Wisp pull here for the Shadow Priest, but the footy was in position. Quick reaction, also able to see this with the scout farm. I really like the scout farm here. Yeah, now he stole the Shadow Priest. That means Water Elementals will not be dispelled so easily from the Night Elf side. And this is already yeah, the early game plan pretty much out the window for Moon here under the ID Eat You Up. So usually when the knight of uh, when the human would creep this and you come in with wisp detonate and with uh, shadow priest dispel, that can be very very difficult for the human to pull off. That's the reason why usually they go towards the outskirts of the map for the expansion, mostly this one, so you can uh, get the merc camp on the way. A romantic here actually taking a stop at the green camp, waiting for more lumber from the peasants, I suppose. He has the lumber required now. This is only four peasants, dude. That's a little light. All right, he's gonna pull more. Put the demon in the position. He was holding on to the skill points, but now he has decided. Evasion and mana burn. No immolation play here from him. Wisps could start to set up a counter expo. Oh, Hunter's Hall. Kind of early. He has the money now for a counter expansion. So he sees the human moving south. This would usually be. Uh, where he can decide to uh, counter expand over here so he can f expand far away from the human. Or is he gonna play this uh, aggressive tier 1 siege style from the one year old meta? <clears throat> a little less than a year ago. So here we go. Good thing about these gold mines here, even if you do get dispelled on your water elements, it doesn't matter because the creep camp here is so weak. So how much can he do? Three archers here, decent damage. No mercs though. Oh damn! He blocks him in, almost. The Shadow Priest does die in the end, but the demon is low already. He forgot the scout farm here. Ooh, that's a big mistake. I suppose he wasn't in need of any more farms since he has two farms sprinkled across the map. But that reveal not being handy to him, um, yeah. Saves all the archers, but the demon is low HP. And I must say, this play doesn't seem so crisp from Moon. Is it just me? Like, it's, it's a bit of demon under harassment. Of course, uh, the steal of the Shadow Priest here from the human was really nice. That helped him out a lot in the early game. But I... I don't know. I haven't seen the effectiveness yet of Moon. Here's the counter expansion, by the way. Very predictable. This should get scouted. And there's a footy on its way. Dude, Romantic is playing this really nice. I mean, not too flashy. Oh, by the way, Archmage damage. Very respectable. Yeah, he's gonna find this. This is a cancel. Easy. He has... He could summon one Water Elemental right now. But I don't think even he needs two. Yeah, one of them is gonna be good enough. Expo cancelled. And... That's one of the most important steps for human to... Have a successful game here. Delay that Night of Counter Expo. Panda coming in second. There's no creeping plan. This demon is still only barely level 2, so he needs to do a lot of damage here. One Arcane already ready. 
I love how he parked the footman here, was scouting with one footman and only going around with the AM, knowing he has enough damage with the AM to cancel an expo should he find it. And the footies were still protecting the base. Dude, Romantic is playing this so goddamn well. Lores are coming up. With a couple of dryads here, the Night of is going to be very strong. Romantic is still far away from the tech, may not want to go for it yet. He may have to call militia support very soon. This is where Romantic would love to have Mercab access here to reinforce with berserkers and such. But his creep route didn't allow for it. It was a very weird creep route. He went uh, this into this into this creep camp. Maybe he wanted to trick, or maybe he wanted to consider which expansion to take depending on what he sees. Yeah, but because of his slightly unusual, I suppose, creep route. He does not have those mercenaries, but he does have a lot of footmen. In fact, it is eight in number. There's a shop coming up as well. These top humans, Infi and TH, first and foremost, always manage to utilize their footies so well. But there is a panda, so there's going to be a good answer to those footmen. So it turns daytime now, which means the heal scroll becomes available. But uh, yeah, the Archmage is far away from any shop, so... Unlikely that he's gonna grab that up. Water Elemental Scouting. And what's Moon doing, man? He's staying on Tier 2. He's not counter-expanding. This kind of forces him into an all-in. He either has to tech very soon or counter-expand. Late expansions can work for the Night Elf. If he manages to get decent hero levels before and then... Yeah. Pick and prod at the human. You know what I mean? Like, delay some... Tier 2 buildings, find some caster pickoffs, force some repair, kill some towers, stuff like that. And then, behind the distraction, expand. It may be late, but that can still be in time. Here comes Zeppelin. Harassment, now certainly an option. Another utility um, add to the uh, human force that becomes available upon daytime. So level 3 for the demon. That's pretty late, but uh, he gets the level nonetheless. Oh, Panda, <sighs> almost in a surround there. He has the lightning shield, by the way. That could be so sick. Put it on the demon, dude. Lightning shield. Oh, he's not realizing it. Kind of forgot about the drop. Lightning shield has very rare occasions to be very good, but against a lot of footmen, it is really nice. I guess the demon was low, though, so he may not have been able to stay in there for very long. Archmate even committing the invul here. Gets the archer for it, but he uses the heal scroll to save the archer. Okay. I don't know about that choice, buddy. But, bit of a psychological play, I suppose. Showing him that he's not going to give up anything for free. Boots of Quel'Thalas. Very nice. So, tier 3 is coming. Late, though. Really damn late. But, he has 3 3 heroes. He is very strong right now. He can apply pressure right here and expand. I still think he has to expand. Otherwise, he's going to have to try to break a base with bears. Romantic's pretty low on towers here. Only one guard. Would have liked to see one more at least. Tier 2 is done, though. Oh, the Shredder is just chilling here. Bit of a mistake. Blood Mage second. Against the Panda, I guess. Oh, and now he's also very low on towers here. And he opened up the way to commit to the base. Romantic needs to hold here. If he holds here, this should be his game, but he's deciding not to defend, but rather to attack. I don't know about this. I think you should go for a heal scroll and defend. However, heal scrolls are out of stock. Mass repair here. Gonna buy more time, but the shredder's still gonna fall. Now he has enough lumber. Doesn't need the shredder for that anymore. That's, of course, also a help. Archmage want to go for the scroll of healing, but it's out of stock, as I said. So... Is under siege. Not that many footies left. He needs to come home here. Doesn't he? Here's the lightning shield now. And we see the TP. Where is it gonna be? Archmage, by the way, already very low. Going forward towards the panda. Trying to go get the surround. It's pretty close. It's pretty damn close. Ah, oh, but he doesn't get it. And now with the panda free. With the demon and the dryads here again. Oh, man. The humans not walling off the base, man. I see this too many times. If there was a wall off here, this would have been entirely different. But as it is, he's in trouble. No wall off and too few towers. I think you need, like, at least one guard tower in each base. I'd prefer two. 
Of course you want to get the tech faster, you want to get the production buildings faster. For all that you need lumber. And yeah, towers slow you down, I understand. But now, because of his greed, if you want to call it that, he's in a quite a bit of trouble. He has defend here which helps against the dryads, but it's not the answer really. Panda's out of mana. That's a good thing here for him, that limits the damage significantly. Gold wise for Romantic, he needs to produce man, he has 1000 gold. Casters are coming out, does he have a workshop somewhere? Nope. Could make rifles as well, in fact, rifles are on their way. And honestly, Moon could have expanded behind this. Is he doing it? He is! I thought he was looking so bad for Moon, but he finds the opportunity, he finds the opening to do significant damage in the main base. And honestly, I think it's fine now. I don't even think he has to commit any harder. Because, yeah, the production has been interrupted so severely from Romantic side, so... He could go up to... I could still have a timing to go up to 75 supply. That's a strategy we used to see all the time. Humans expand, 70 su 75 supply, a timing push, attack the Knight of Counter Expo, and then win or lose the game from there. I feel like we've been seeing less and less of that recently. But it's always a strategy that you can go for. Oh, there's, however, no heal scrolls on the nice round. Gets the Archmage. Oh, but there's a Zeppelin. Try to go for heal scrolls again. But Moon prioritizing here, um, stealing those. Ooh, the Zeppelin. Uh-oh, piercing damage. But he does unload safely. I don't know about this Blood Mage, honestly. I know it's pretty good against the Panda, siphoning him and all. But I, did, I don't, I doubt, I don't know. I'm not certain that it's better than a Naga. Maybe he thought he didn't have the time to go towards the tavern or something. But the siege continues. 56 supply for Romantic. See, making some more farms down south. A few more towers and a wall in could have made this game a lot easier for Romantic. But credit to Moon to find the opening there. Honestly, this mid game looked really bad for him. He could have really been pressured into submission, but yeah, didn't happen. Nice turnaround from Moon, and now Tree of Life on its way. May not have, have Nature's Blessing, but seems to be in time. Alright, but for for the moment still, the human is producing. He's gonna be at 75 quickly. He needs Heal Scrolls though. And I don't think one is gonna be enough. So, what's in, in the shop here? There's one Heal Scroll. A second one may become available very soon. I am also far away from level 4. That's an upgrade you really want to have usually when you play mass casters. Lots of rifles, by the way. A little light on the spellbreaker. Spellbreakers, on those you usually also want upgrades to tank better against the bears. There's no upgrades on their way, he's just going like mass units. Panda creeping up more and more, getting closer to level 5. Demon with a one heal scroll. Ooh. Without a TP here, if he gets slowed, there's a chance he gets surrounded and killed. Wow. <laughs> Moon, why are you taking this risk? But here it is. The Knight of Expo hasn't started mining yet, and Romantic does now have the 20 supply lead. Moon is still creeping up. Why is he not producing? Oh my god, Moon, why are you so greedy? He's sitting on 850 gold. He just wasn't producing. He's, yeah, he's gonna lose this tree, there's no way. He can't defend it. He has a TP. But this army is not good enough. I think he's just gonna give it up, right? Yeah, he's just gonna give it up. That's the right choice, I guess, if he defends here. It's not gonna work. He just didn't have enough... Ooh, that's a nice move. Harassing in the main. Getting some more militia for his trouble, perhaps? And he does have a tele stab now to escape. Should he need it. And the panda keeps creeping. And panda level 5, boys and girls. Oh, he wants to steal the next heal scroll, maybe. It is not available yet, though. And Panda level 5 is pretty sick, as you guys know, of course. Scroll the beast. Not what he was hoping for. He could, if he's lucky, find a greater mana right here. He's basically there. One or two more kills. This green camp would give it to him, his level 5. Doesn't want to engage the human yet. Romantic does have a big supply lead, as you can see here, 27 supply ahead. But his heroes are so bad. The Blood Mage is going to do something against the Panda. Depends on positioning, though. 
How much he's gonna be able to do. Oh, I like this. I really like this demon movement. He's gonna steal the next heal scroll right here. And he gets it! Right? He's not getting it. There we go. He does have the money, certainly. But he didn't get it. Still leaves it in there. Expo attempt number two! And here the panda is level five. He's so scary right now. Oh, nice block here. What a weird game. 30 supply ahead is the human, but he doesn't find the timing to push, really. I think, though, with three heal scrolls, he should have still a good chance. And, of course, depends <clears throat> on the panda positioning. If he just gets sucked dry from the blood mage, it's not going to work too well. Good distraction here, though, by Moon. Dude, is he ever going to go into upkeep? He has so much gold. If he just produced... What's in the mains? Still a lot of gold in the main bases. And yeah, there's a heal scroll ready here. I don't think he stole the one. That would have been so nice had he stolen the one up here. I think he really should have done it. Going for boots late on the panda. Not something we see every day. Oh, and now he's threatening the counterattack here. But he's not going to be in time to protect his expo up here with this. As it is once again cancelled. There is a TP on Romantic side, which he will have to use right here. That's a little more money down the drain, of course. Panda gets slowed up, but he has a Tele Staff. The demon should be on cooldown. It is on cooldown. Uh oh. Is the demon in trouble? He's gonna staff him out and staff himself out. Nice plays here. Can't be punished without an MK. And here's the expansion <laughs> number three. Mass Expos from Moon, as we have seen so many times in the past. Dryads in the main, harassing as well. He's being a real pest here. He's just hanging on, on 50 supply. I wonder at some point... Shouldn't... Shouldn't Romantic just ignore this? And just run towards the main? He has a big supply advantage. He has the two heal scrolls. He could grab up another one down here. Player's forces are under attack. He doesn't have that much gold, though. With that one guard tower here finishing, he's gonna be a lot safer against this Dryad nonsense. Level 4 for the Archmage, finally. Blood Mage gets level 2, which, I don't know, can be decent. Banish against, I don't know, Demon Hunter or something. And now Moon again attacking the main. This is, I am convinced, a distraction play, nothing else. Where's the panda? Panda's in the main? Oh, he doesn't have a TP here, but the bears leave first. The dryads cannot get slowed. He should really sell the scroll though. Grab up a mana potion instead. Moon is doing such a good job, though, keeping Romantic busy, not giving him a window of uh, opportunity to attack, really. An all-in attack. Or all-out attack, I should say. Doesn't have to be all-in. But this may be the time now. Panna gets found, gets slowed, and will staff out. Alright, he's staffing north towards his Dryads. I think Romantic should just ignore this. Ignore this. Don't get toyed with anymore. You can replace those peasants if you lose them. Just attack. I think he should have done this a while ago. Oh, he's gonna move forward here. Okay, he wants to establish towers here to get up a new base soon. TP home. And again, such a great trade for Moon. He got like, what is this? Six peasants, a tower, disrupted mining. And Moon, alright, he's an upkeep now. Okay. I think Romantic has wasted too much time here. Towers are not even upgrading. But really strong, like, positional, uh, tactical play by Moon. He's always so great with this. His movement around the map. Impeccable. And once again, I have to come back to these towers. Had Romantic had at least one guard tower in the main. And please make a farm. I, I understand he gets the shredder. The shredder opens up the way. But you can close it after again. Would have bought him so much time, would have given him a much quicker time to get to 75. And here we go again. Panda and Demon harassing. He's gonna lose this base, but that's okay. The mains are gonna run out soon, and then he can just move over with his tree. 
Damn, Moon! He's playing this so smart. He's playing a game of cat and mouse. He's the mouse, but he's out maneuvering the cat always. Where's the bears, by the way? Where'd the bears go? Ah, down here. Chilling. Gathering some mana. A player's forces are under attack. And suddenly we have a level 5 demon hunter. The hero that was struggling so long to even get to level 3. <laughs> oh man. Moon is picking him apart. I can't believe it. I thought... I thought Romantic had this game. Maybe he did too. This is... And this is such a frustrating game as well. You know you had the lead. And then, you know... You had this timing in mind, but he just he just picked him apart, man. That's that's what it is. And now Moon, he's up at 72 supply. He has a supply lead actually for the first time in this game. 78 supply, in fact. And yeah, that's the thing. You don't have to counter expand if you manage to deal consistent damage and lose barely anything of your own. I think Moon lost like one archer this game. I think that's that's about it. Yeah, no income for the moment for Moon, but he's gonna have some soon again. And Romantic, well this base still holds a lot of gold, but this one, uh, well, it's okay. Yeah, but his income is gonna run dry. And these heroes, especially these heroes, are so inferior to what Moon has. And when the big fight rolls around, this panda is not far away from level 6, man. The demon is going to probably take two fights for him. But especially with three experienced water elementals. I could certainly see some storm, earth and fire coming our way very soon. Double heal scroll, triple heal scroll on the human side. This has to be it. I think this... Uh, yeah, attacking the tree of eternity here. That's the all-in, I believe. Lots of dryads. Holy shit, how many dryads is this? Only a couple of bears, only five. And he has a lot of rifles against the Dryads. How many Sorks does he have? Four of them with full mana, so we're gonna have a lot of slow. The slow should um, win the mana battle against the Dispel from the Dryads. Two, two upgrades, by the way, on Moon's side. I kind of neglected to look at those. Zero, zero on the Breakers. <sighs> what the hell? Why is he wasting so much mana? He's using all of this mana, I suppose, to get not get feedbacked, but I think that's a bad idea. I think that's a very bad idea. Is it? Maybe it's a good idea, I'm, I'm not sure. I guess Moon knows better than me. I guess these breakers do have a lot of mana, so wait, they would steal all of the roar anyways. Even defensive AP coming up. And Romantic's retreating. I don't think that's the right play, man. I think you have to commit, dude. It's not gonna get better. Alright, fourth heal scroll. That's something good. Oh, I like the tome. I like the tome of retraining. Gonna be blizzard time. Especially if he manages to fight on the bridge. That would be very good. But he has no towers here, so... I don't know. If that's really gonna work out. Once again, he's gonna harass the expansion down here. I like the double arcane. Gonna at least burn some mana from the panda, but still he's gonna... No, doesn't wanna commit. Only thing he has to do here is hold. And this is Moon's game. Heroes are even walking back, not even seeing the necessity to staff. And the damage here is pretty insignificant. We don't have mortar teams. This is very slow progress on the human side. Only has two priests, by the way. Healing is very, very limited. Aside from the four heal scrolls, however. Can these four heal scrolls do it for him? His army, his heroes are way worse. But he has a whole bunch of heal scrolls. Where are the Night Elf Heroes? I can't see him right now. Are they, where are they at? In the Zeppelin or something? Oh yeah, they're in the Zeppelin. He's trying for the bear drop. But more and more time here for Moon. Romantic now in high upkeep. Static defense is getting taken out here. Fairly easily. And 
Blizzard, that, that doesn't work against Dryads, buddy. I'm sorry to tell you. Where's the bears? Dude, where, where are the bears? There they are! There they are! The bear drop into everything. Can Romantic reposition the AM? In trouble, Zeppelin could reposition him. But this fight is all over the place now. Panda, oh, this... Oh, he already used the first strong case with the fire. Missed that combo. Heal Stroll counteracted it, though. We have Militia coming from the main. And now he's on the bridge! This is a very good position. Strong case with the fire coming in. But lot, most of it was eaten by the Militia, honestly. The AM now in a great position. The Blizzard not hitting too well, to be honest. These bears here could be hit instead. Blood Mage. Involt is gonna run out very soon. And then he might be in trouble himself. Oh, there was a big combo! Blood Mage is gonna die. He isn't gonna get out of this. Not if he gets dispelled. He's banished at the moment, but he is... Don't tell me he's gonna survive. The Dryad finds the last hit. And Panda's level 6, by the way. Doesn't have the mana for the ultimate. Demon, though, only one more kill. Boom! And the Superman should finish off this game. GG. Oh, nice. I got into the game this time. So, that's the 1-0 lead for Moon. And I can't help but feel... That uh, Romantic kind of gave that out of his hand. Of course, he was, um, you know... His timing, his 75, was delayed by a lot. With uh, Moon finding the opening in his main. Where there was no wall and no towers. But even after that, I think he could have committed hard, even if he has to attack the main. Attacking the main is, of course, always dangerous with all the moon wells and stuff. But if you give Moon all of this space, he's just gonna, yeah, pick you apart, man, little by little. Roast a couple of peasants here, attack a couple of towers there. Kills, 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 double level 5. And I think when you're human, you really don't want to let the game go on until double level 5. If you are staying on tier 2, that is. But oh well! 1-0 lead for Moon, very well played by him. Having uh, having had a fairly ineffective early game, to be honest. But it came back very strong. So now we have map number two. Now we have seen Wardens and Demon Hunters both here in the recent past. But I think Warden here for Moon would be weird, yeah. He's not that much of a Warden player anymore. Not that he ever was, like, that crazy of a Warden player. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna have to blow my nose here. Allergies, boys and girls. The great fun of spring. Um, yeah. Demon Hunter seems to be more his choice. I would like to see... Like, there was this uh, crazy series of his against, who was it, Yumiko? Where he played like five different starting heroes in a row. Oh, that was such an entertaining series with pandas and <laughs> actually even tinkers, like everything. There was a time when he played Beastmaster as well. I really don't like Beastmaster, I think that's a very mediocre hero. In most cases. Are under At least going for the demon. Tried and true. He needs some repair here though, doesn't he? Ancient of War is taking quite a bit of damage. I guess it's okay. Claws for the demon. And the Archmage here is taking his time to go towards the expansion. Romantic usually doesn't go for the instant expansion as Infi and TH like to do. Once again, he's trying to... Oh, he messed it up. Moon messed it up. He walked in with a wisp first. Usually the archer is supposed to attack, draw out the creeps, then the wisp gets the purchase. And now he's blocking the way once again, Romantic having a stellar early game. Can he follow up more convincingly this time in the mid game where Moon really grabbed the lead? Oh, that's pretty cute here. Surviving a little bit longer. Nuts items for the demon. Claws and slippers. Ooh, that's scary. If he opts for immolation harass, this can be absolutely disastrous. But him not getting the um, Shadow Priest and losing the Archer doesn't bode too well for him. But the first hero is still pretty sick. So, is it gonna be Mana Burn or not? 
Romantic is looking for it himself and he says, all right, mana burn. That's actually good. That means I should be fairly safe to take this expansion. And here we go. Militia train coming. This is how many? Seven. Oh, it's eight. Woo, boy. He wants to make sure this is coming up, and it should be. He has more water elementals. Demon almost getting surrounded. I think you can just ignore him. He doesn't have immolation. It's like not too scary. Is it 1.29 already? Not yet on Netties. Netties has not yet converted their servers. But on Battle.net, 1.29 is live. Yes! And uh, a lot of players, including myself, have been laddering a lot. I think I have 50 ladder games now. It's a lot of fun. And there's going to be a ladder reset soon, apparently. Mm. So, there was a bit of a pause here. But we continue! The player's forces are under attack. Shadow Priest is going to get purchased, but he's going to be pretty late here. I don't know that that's actually going to be in time. So, let's keep an, an eye out on the peasants lost. One dead so far. Die to the creeps, I think. Wisp Deadnet coming in. Nice splitting from the Water Elemental, though. Mana burning the Archmage. More... Ooh, shit. He's got the Berserker as well. Okay, I was too stoned to speak. But the Demon was low. Had to TP out. That, that of course, also means that the rest of the army is going to disappear. So, in the end, he does take this fairly safely. He brought eight peasants. Six survived. That's fine. Honestly, that's totally fine. And here we go. He has ample resources. Puts the expansion on the left side. Usually we see it more towards the right. Sometimes then the Shredder will cut away through these trees and then he can reinforce here. In the back, it's pretty cool. Demon getting the boots. Two and a half for him. I don't know if the Archmage wants to trade like this. In general, I don't know about this engagement right here from Romantic. I think he should rather a retreat by time and then perhaps reinforce with a militia. But he's taking the fight here. Demon did drop fairly low. Moon Juice is still looking okay. Tier 2 about to finish up. Hunter's Fall is in time. So what's he gonna go for? Panda again? Naga Pressure? Naga Pressure could be pretty strong here with all of the mercs that he has. But of course he's gonna fall off hard later. But this is a map where pulling apart the human will be a lot harder with the two bases being so close to each other. Water Elemental is going to get taken out here as well. He saves the mana on the Shadow Priest. I like that. Oh, nice deny. That was cool. Keeps the demon further away from level 3. So, what's the second hero here? He's going for the Lords before, I guess. Alright, Lords before second hero. Has to wait a little bit. Ancient of War already in position here to creep. Indicates a panda, I guess. And the moon juice now is really low. So it's going to day turn daytime. Ah, kind of soon. By then, however, he may have Riju again. Or at least very soon. Footies come in. But the demon's damage along with all of this ranged army is pretty good. Oh, can he cancel? Oh, the one lore is definitely going to go down. And that's... He detonates against it. With a detonates... It may not be good enough, but with the footies coming in, the footies don't commit, however. Don't commit for the base. They kill an archer or two. Demon gets his level 3 only with the footies. What's it looking like in Romantic's base? Tier 2 is coming up. No shredder this time. Not yet, anyways. So, the time's ticking, it seems like, again. Peasant moving out. That's probably going to be the shredder right here. I hope he goes for more towers this time. Two guards should be enough, I feel. Panda starts creeping. Demon, the king of the mid-game here with his level 3. And the boots. But still, Archmage and Footies manage to find the Nile of Creeping, manage to be more annoying, trying to delay, of course, this expansion as much as possible. Ancient of War dies. Makes creeping hard here. Dryads coming in, but no real blockers. The bear's still far away, no Riju ready yet. But also, um, no Shredder yet. He doesn't have the Lumber for a Shredder. Ooh, that's annoying. 100 Lumber is how much the purchase requires. Ancient of War dies, though, so did the Rock Golem. And Romantic is taking quite a bit of damage here. 
He's not gonna able gonna be able to save too many of these footies. Something that uh, Infi and TH managed to do so well oftentimes. He gets the Berserker at least, but that was expensive. He's gonna lose all of his footmen, and now he definitely needs towers. Nice Sim City here. Here's the Shredder. A little late. Slightly mismanaged his lumber there, I guess. Tier two is. It may work out here with the Shredder if he goes next to the lumber mill. And please make a farm here, dude. Walk him in next to the lumber mill. Make a farm, please. Alright, here we go. Zeppelin purchased. Trying to be more annoying. Trying to buy more time. Is he going to get this Tree of Life here? He really wants to. Of course. Alright, Shredder is in. Dude, please make a farm. Please. You don't want to suffer from the same thing that happened before. Maybe he wants to have an entrance for his Archmage to get to safety or something, but I think closing it off might be better. But he's making some towers at least. One tower in each base here, it seems. Still fairly light. Tier 2 is done. That was pretty quick. Doesn't have too much money though, and yeah, he can't. No, no, he can't commit. Moon is on top of this. And if he had more footies here, he could unload with a heal scroll and cancel this. But he lost so many before, he only has three left. I don't think the damage is going to be enough. And that is why saving those footies is such a big deal. Why Infi and TH look so strong when they manage to do this every single time. Romantic has been improving consistently throughout the years. But he's still in the shadows of TH and Infi. With the heroes gone here, I think it's too late though. 1000 damage. I don't think he has it. Especially with the water elementals getting dispelled instantly. Alright, he's gonna try for it. I think that's a good idea. Um, even if it's not gonna work, like, what's, what are you gonna lose? Three footies at most. That's okay. Boom, boom, boom. Free experience. Yeah, with four footies here, this would probably be dead. Oh, nice save. Yeah, with, with more footies here, this would have definitely worked. Defend being so strong here. And that is the difference if you save your footies or not. So, Expo coming up. Lots of gold now, though, on Romantic. He's gonna be able to explode into upkeep here very quickly. Tier 3. Oh, shit! He hasn't even started Tier 3 yet? Oh, that's a big problem. That is a big problem for Moon. He's like more than two and a half minutes away from Master Bears. Is. Romantic gonna realize this. If he realizes this, he could just push, right? What do we have here? He needs to produce. Romantic, produce, dude. You have 2,000 gold. He can just push him. Panda is level 3 here. That's nice for him. Naga second. I like that much more than the Blood Mage. Oh, lag. No. Oh, there we go. Catching up. I guess he also wants to have the entrance here for the rifleman. <clears throat> and he, again, didn't upgrade the scout tower here. There was, once again, an opportunity there to be aggressive. But this time, Moon plays more passively, crept up more with the panda. Want to get him to level 3, of course. Alright, mining starts, tier 3. He's still not going tier 3. Buddy, I don't think you can <clears throat> win this on tier 2, my friend. Double upgrades coming instead of tier 3? What? What is this? And of course, yeah, Romantic. He, he has a lot of supply here. That expo has finally paid off. Alright, flank from the Dryads, Panda walking in, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, big damage, there is... Oh, no heal scrolls! He stole both of the heal scrolls, oh man, that's a massive difference maker, of course. TP, reposition, Zeppelin is gonna crash and burn, not quick enough to unload. Five supply lost from the human against three supply from the Nile. I really love how he prioritizes stealing the heal scrolls. That is actually... What saved his game here, I think. Oh, but I like the TP. He TP'd over here. He's gonna run south now here. Attack the main. Grab up the heal scrolls here. That's really cool. 
players forces are under still attack. a lot of supply for romantic and there's two heal scrolls in here moon can't get them all and he purchases them both purchases them both um he can't really call too many militia they're all over here that's a bit of a mistake some militia in here to eat up some breath of fire would be nice here come the towers though and usually on tier 2 you should not be able to defend this as the night elf can he do it the dryads will have upgrades i suppose one one very soon panda moving in looking for the towers or not so he wants to buy time here obviously and for a 70 supply army, this is looking really small from Romantic. Look at the damage, it's basically non-existent from the rifles. He has a lot of breakers, which I don't like so much against mass dryads, but I guess he didn't know about the tech situation. And the dryads, man, they may not be the best against rifles, but they're really good against towers, taking out two immediately. They're gonna get all three, without too much of a problem. Panna popping the mana potion, he has one more combo, lots of potions actually on him. Inborn the demon, heal potions on the Knight of Sight as well. Fight once again, all over the place. 74 supply ever still left for Romantic, only 59 for the Night Elf, but very good heroes, of course. Panda walking back, getting slowed, hitting level 4, however. And I can't believe he's holding this with only Dryads! The Naga is gonna die. What the hell is happening? He is actually holding this. AM in trouble. He doesn't have a TP or anything, he's just gonna die here. That must be the GG. What a crazy game with mass Dryads! Are you serious? I cannot believe that worked. I cannot believe that that worked actually. GG, wow. I don't, I don't, I don't get it.